Hi everyone and welcome to this session. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create an Oracle environment on Docker. So on my Ubuntu machine I have already installed Docker and prepared this file based on CentOS 7 and first we will install all required packages by Oracle. At the end we will add the group IDs or install DBA Opera and add the Oracle user. Just make sure that this user ID and group ID is also available on the host. This will facilitate file sharing as the container will use folder from the host. So this is a way to make it persistable. I will add the link to this file in the description. So first let's create the image based on the docker file using this command. We give it a tag CentOS 7. Let's run. It will take some time. The CentOS build has been created and we can check that here. So this is our created CentOS. So the next step is to install Oracle software. First, you need to download the software from Oracle homepage. So I have already downloaded the Oracle software, the 12C version. This is the zip file. First, let's create this directory this one will be the home for our oracle so this is my directory so from here this belong to the host i will map this folder to the container so i will show you how to do that but first let's create this path this directory until here using make dear minus this is done now and i prepared this script run send os 7 let's have a look on it so docker run uh, in detached mode and this is the name for our container and i am adding this flag privileged and the container will be removed when it is shut down so we don't need it and i am mapping this port this is for the oracle list and these resources are required by oracle so they are set on the fly using the u limit command this is required by oracle and at the end this is the important part i am mapping this volume so we are mapping the entire oracle home folder to this one on the host and let's run this script now and this is the image name let's so let's run and you see the docker the container is has been started let's attach this container we are now as root we can change to the oracle user and as you see because we map it the home to this one first we need to extract this zip file using this command the file has been extracted Let's check. And before starting with the installation, we need to define some variables. We will put them in the batch profile. So these are the most important variable needed by Oracle. This is the host name and the unique name. And here this is the base. And as you see, the base for our software is here on the home, just to make things easy. And we are defining the home. And here is the SID, it is Oracle 12C. And adding some, and, and this is, this variable is required to forward the UI to the Windows machine. This is the IP address. So now let's save. We will source it. We go to database. And we have this script. We can run the installer. Let's see. We got this information. Yes. Just, just wait. So now we are forwarding the UI to the X server. We need to, yeah. And this is, it is working. Let's wait. And you see here we can start with the installation. I don't want to receive anything. It is, yes, it is a dev environment. Create, uh, first we will install the database software only. Single instance database, enterprise edition. And this information comes from 
the variable we defined in the profile this is our inventory next it checks whether all required things are there we we, we forgot to add it to our docker file so let's let's install it again we attach to our and you search for git say what is the name git it say so we found it you install this one you can add it to the docker file it has been installed so let's continue with the installation we can tell it check again okay so these are harmless we can ignore them for now just ignore next yes i'm sure and we start with the installation it will take some time so the installation is almost done we are required to to run this to script as root user this is the first one and this is the second one enter we don't need to fail analyzer enter so now the software installation is done so let's create a database as oracle user we refresh the profile and we will use the dbce dbce again using the ui forwarding the ui to the windows machine and using this utility first create database yes here are all required information so we will opt for this option advanced configuration it is a single instance general purpose oracle this is the sid it should have one playable database and use template yes we don't need to specify this for now we can do that later on the listener will be created even you don't specify here new listener we don't need this option here you have the possibility to set some sizing it is utf8 we will not create we will use skip this setting here so now let's create we don't need to an enterprise manager it is a dev environment we can opt for this option x yes and now let create finish so let wait so the database creation is completed let's check we can check using square plus uh, and as you see the database is up and running can show pdbs the playable databases so now it is working so to sum up created a docker image based on centos most important things is this one this mapping volume mapping this means when you create new container with this command so everything will be there so this is the tricks so i hope you find this useful thanks for watching and bye